Hello, I'm Stephanie Luo. Welcome to Surface Time, aka Confessions of a Diving Junkie, where I chinwag with people who are like me, scuba diver and chronic addicts to being on the water. I think it is a universal sentiment for divers that scuba diving is the best social icebreaker. Whether you have just met each other on a dive trip or at a much dreaded work event, when scuba diving comes into the dialogue, you instantly connect with each other. The conversations would easily evolve from scuba diving to many other things. Sometimes you even become friends for life. On surface time, I'm speaking with other diver friends. Most of them don't make a living out of diving. Instead, diving makes their living more meaningful. I want to find out from them what led them to diving, what keeps them going, what good diving has done for them in their life, and everything else other than diving, like the importance of photographing whale poop. I started photographing more of the poop and I started paying attention to when they do it and why they do it. Inside the poop, when I dug through it, you could see things that hinted to their food, like blue whales, you see the neon orange, which is the coloration from the krill. Snippets of being locked down in Shanghai two years into COVID pandemic. It's been a little bit frustrating, to say the least. We don't know until when we're locked down. As per my personal experience, I can't really complain too much. My fridge is full of food. My neighbors are rather nice and I haven't tested positive yet. Why plastic pollution is a climate emergency? The vast majority of plastics are not made from recycled material. They're made from virgin plastic, which are made from petroleum. So when we start to think about net zero, plastics have to come into that because they come from oil. So it really is the complex thing. Insights to a software engineer's creative process. What got me into software engineering is exactly what got me into photography. I got into software engineering because you start with nothing and then you sit down at the keyboard and you write some code and suddenly you have something that you create from nothing. What you should know before getting a parrot as a pet. A parrot is a parrot. They are essentially pretty wild at heart. See, even though we've been keeping parrots for thousands of years, but essentially, they haven't been changed from their wild counterparts. You're dealing with an animal that has all of these instincts. These are stories of people doing amazing things, living life to the fullest. I hope that whether you're a diver or not, they will stimulate and inspire you one way or another. Or even better, if you want to become a diver and dive more. Thank you and enjoy the confessions.